A day after President Trump pledged to see what happens when asked to commit a peaceful transfer of power, our Jason Calvi questions the vice president. It all comes after a court ruling makes it likely he won't know who wins this key battleground state on Election Day. Another vice presidential trip to Wisconsin, where clerks already sent out 109,000 ballots. We have great concern about changes that are taking place, including here in Wisconsin, uh, in mail-in voting and in absentee voting. A federal judge ruled this week that Wisconsin's absentee ballots postmarked Election Day can be received another six days. Republicans are appealing. For the state of Wisconsin to extend the deadline so that we may not know uh, the outcome of the election for six days after the election, uh, it's just not, it's not consistent with the with the great traditions of this state and of this country. What is the problem that the judge said pretty much has to be postmarked on election day, but it can take six days to get to your local court. What's the problem with that? Why fight that? Well, we, what we want to support is absentee balloting that's consistent with the long tradition here in Wisconsin and also consistent with the tradition in states around the country. Absentee voting is fine, but the American people deserve to know who is elected president. Uh, on election day. The Marquette poll finds President Trump the favorite of 58% of those planning to vote on election day, while it finds 68% of those voting absentee favor Joe Biden. So yes or no, you will accept the election results if they come down the day or the day after election day. President Trump and I will accept the results of a free and fair election. Back in 2016, Hillary Clinton won Eau Claire County 49% to President Donald Trump's 42%. But Democrats have been gaining strength in recent elections. The most recent Supreme Court race, the progressive candidate, won 63% of this county. In Eau Claire, Jason Calvi, Fox 6 News.